fight fans, here we go. Spar Star Promotions is proud to present the rerounds of mixed martial arts in the welterweight division. Introducing our referee in charge of this bout, Larry the Sheik Landless. And now, introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing green trunks trimmed in black. He is training out of Swanson Striking Systems in Indio by way of Corona. He weighed in 169 pounds. His record, two wins with one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Steven Valdez. His opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing bluish gray trunks. He is training out of RBJJ MMA in Ramona, California. He weighed in 168 pounds. His record, two wins with one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Roman Rodriguez. All right, fans, here we go. The rerounds of mixed martial arts in the welterweight division. Anticipation builds. Both these gentlemen waiting for their signal, and we start. Roman in the red, Steven in the blue. Steven fighting Southpaw. Gauging the distance. What's already begun in this part is you see them already establishing the distance, as you mentioned using both uh, just kind of that short reach and then trying to get a few kicks in to see. And then at the same point though, John, I think they're both very, very suspicious of what the other has to offer. Nice, nice exchange here though. Yeah, that was really good uh, from Roman with that right straight down the middle. But Steven all over him on the grappling, gets him down, but Roman right back up to his feet. Nicely done. Steven's got an overhook. I believe he has a head and arm. Yes, and this sits, uh, or Roman does. This sits Steven down to his butt. Steven now trying to wrestle up into a double leg. Wow, and, and very well fought back. I thought he was gonna be stuck there against the cage. Now with this underhook and wrist control, they end up back in the center. You know, sometimes they say you want to run the pipe in wrestling. He just ran a marathon in that. <laughs> you just keep on running the and pipe. And you know what? It, when it looked like things were bad, my man found the energy to get back up. So props to him. Yeah. I, it, it looked like, uh, especially with his position, I thought he'd be down there a lot longer. But he uh, ended up coming right back up on that single leg. It does look like Steven is starting to understand a little bit better of Roman's range. Here. Like, Roman has a really good reach, and he's been using it to try and come over the top multiple times when the guard's just a little bit down. Yeah, Roman, so, I mean, when you're fighting a southpaw fighter, in general, that uh, the power shots right down the center are much more available, and Roman seems to be taking advantage of that much more than Steven does, which is interesting, because Steven's the southpaw fighter, so. And that is going to be it for round one. A little unsung hero of that first round that we just saw there, John, was the actual exchange of kicks. Like, I think both of them have found some sort of home in them, but I think it's been a nice little way to sneak in a few strikes, especially when both of them have been pretty weary of what the upper body looks like on, on the hands and letting go there. And of course, we saw how the wrestling exchanges went. You could see that both of them have a good recognition of, all right, this may be a rush, but under duress, I'm gonna be able to reverse this and find my way into a better position multiple times. Yeah, I would say that uh, Steven looked like he had better maybe traditional wrestling, but Roman seemed to have better um, instincts in the wrestling, like in the scrambles, and even when he's out of position, he was able to stay on top uh, a little easier without a specific defense or offense set up for him. And specific to wrestling for MMA, which is, oh, I don't need to just take you down, I need to be able to either protect myself, back in standing up, or establish some sort of control we got to the ground, and it never really got to the ground there. Yeah, yeah they, they both popped up right away regardless. So um, hats off to both of them, I suppose, in the in the takedown department. All right, we return back to action here. 
Yep, and look at and so Roman is really throwing that that right leg kick right at the lead leg, the inner thigh of Steven. But you don't see too much of the opposite from Steven. No. Roman definitely taking more advantage of that uh, of the power or the weakness of, of that southpaw stance. See? And I, I keep getting worried because I, I keep thinking that Roman learns a little bit each time. He gets caught there, though, right on the button, and he just signals, come hit me more. Yeah, that was interesting. A, a left kick from Steven and then a left hook following it. Caught Roman stepping in. And Roman's been switching up these kicks, and he's been going higher. There's been about two or three of those high kicks searching for that head right there. Ooh, nice return here by Steven. Oh, that step in hook, too, from Steven. Blocked the kick. Steven looking for that left lead kick. Or the rear kick on the lead leg. Finds him on the button again. Now just oh. finds a cross. Yeah, that good left right to the chin from Roman. See Steven maybe want to just keep some distance there. I mean, Steven's the circling out, out, but he did get tripped up there. I don't know how much damage that was. Again, another high kick. Uh, I mean, he has the right, like, body type where that could be a major problem, where you look at it and next thing you know, you're looking at the floor. So uh, I think Steven's done a very good job of making sure he's out of range and blocked a few of those. Yeah, Steven, uh, I'm not sure exactly what his A game is mm -hmm. because... Yeah, he's stepping in with some kind of winging punches, yep. uh, maybe some haphazard kicks. Uh, his wrestling, like I said, the traditional wrestling looked yeah. fairly strong, but he was unable to, to do anything with it. And that's going to end round number two. Ah, interesting. Is that a car alarm that we have as a, a buzzer for the end of these rounds? They imported it special just for you, Ram. Beautiful, thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, sponsorship opportunities. <laughs> They're like, oh, Kevin, Kevin, Windows isn't here? <laughs> it's just going to be Raph. Just, it's just, just use the car. Absolutely. We're good. We'll have a little bit of a version of La Cucaracha a little bit later. But for right now, I just want to point out a couple things. So you were mentioning what was going on through Steven's head. And I think, honestly, there's a little bit of a frustration of, he's like, all right, this dude's got good reach. He's mixing it up well. How am I going to get in here for my specific style of striking? And I think that if you're watching him carefully, it'll be very interesting to see what his corner tells him right now. Because it may seem that he might be down. It might be one of those things where he needs to really, really step it up to get a finish. Those are things that you don't know going into a third round. Now, with those things in mind, you're seeing Roman. He's been collecting more and more intel about Steven's game as it's been going through. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they both respond to this. But if you're Roman and you're continuing on this trajectory, things are looking pretty solid right now. I think so. Now yeah. let's see where they go in this third round and what adjustments Steven can make to his game. Yeah, always curious to, to see what the corner tells mm -hmm. these amateur fighters. Oh, oh and this, nice. I like this adjustment. That's a great adjustment. He, he, he was found not, a home. Yeah, he wasn't throwing that power left right down the middle like he should have been doing probably all fight. Uh, and there he throws it once and lands immediately. So it's, it's huge improvement. The, the difficult part is the setup for it. And it looks like he sometimes has to eat a little bit too much to get it. A little bit of those jabs go a long way, and when he finds the home, he's right on the button, so the accuracy is there. Yeah, and they're both kind of stepping in with their chins up a little mm -hmm. bit. And it's like they're, they they want to be cautious, but that's actually leaving them more exposed. So, oh, oh there, that's counter nice left return. hook. Oh, my goodness, he's winding it up at this point. <laughs> keep him guessing. Uh oh, Good nice catch on, on yes, the heel. Absolute beautiful catch at the right time, because guess what? Steven now, as he's getting up, there's not much you can do than just take some of those head on. And proving very durable thus far in. All right, now we're going back to a little bit of exchange on the wrestling. Roman uh, just kind of shucks him down. Yeah, I think Steven was looking for like a Koshi Garuma, like a head and arm throw there, but um, ended up not getting the head, so he just gave his back pretty much. So that's the, it's 
one of the problems with that throw. Can be a great throw, but you really have to looking for that on. neck, and he might be underneath it. We need another Center angle to see. Oh, yeah, he's got it he's up there. He's close, oh. but yeah, he gives it up to get some more strikes here. That allows Steven to get back up. He's got essentially, for a split second, he had a head and arm, but now just more of a traditional push up against the cage, now shouldering him very quickly, showing him the frosted tip of his hair right there, John. Yeah, no, that was, it was a good adjustment from Steven, too. He got that arm out of there. He was not in a great position. Ooh. I he like hit it. a couple of shoulders and got pushed away, but that's going to be about it for this yeah. last oh, round. Oh, 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 some good punches here at the end, though. Roman uh, very confident about where he stands. Ed just kind of wanted to show he could lift the leg and get the extension if he really wanted to. Hey, you know what? Fun fight all around. Here's what I want to say. Both the gentlemen had a few moments of, of shine here. Roman, I think, was able to show up a little bit more tonight. But Steven not only showed signs of life, but was showing us, like, hey, listen, maybe I was trying to figure out how to make this, this right hand look. Maybe I was trying to figure out how to connect here. And he was able to answer that on a couple of occasions. Then. Yeah, I mean, hats off to his corner for telling him whatever they told that him. That third round adjustment. Yeah, Mwah. It, that, that was, and hats off to him for actually being able to do it. So you can tell your fighter yep. all the, the best advice till the cows come home, but having them actually do it is up to them. And a lot of fighters get tunnel vision. It's a very common thing, and that, that's one of the hardest things to deal with as a coach in MMA is to get your fighter to snap out of whatever their mind's lost on and get them to do the things that they can do in the gym and training. Um, and whatever they told him, uh, Steven came out there and he implemented it and looked much better in that third round. I think so. And I mean, that's the nice part, especially for these amateur fights, is you do want to see the beginnings of what will probably be the games they develop, the fighters that they're destined to become. So these are always those great training grounds to figure out what it is. And I think that's the nice part about both of these gentlemen. Tonight you get to see a little bit of a preview of where they may be in a few years. And it'll be very interesting to see that. Yep, and it looks like uh, I think we're going to have a replay here. And here's, oh, that was a good uppercut and a left hook from Roman. You know, when we look at all of these, ah, oh, that was a great moment there yeah. for Steven. Yeah, Beautiful. that left straight. This one, he, this must have been the third round when he's thrown it down the middle, I'm assuming. Oh, that good left hook. Watch left. him wind it up here <laughs> once again. You know, it was very interesting. It's the, the choices that Roman made after connecting really well. Sometimes he would kind of signpost he was going to go for a strike. Sometimes he was kind of baiting his opponent to go a little bit more and be like, give me something so I can counter that. And I have to say, that's a very interesting uh, series of strikes and, and approach. And it is all party vibes up here <laughs> from uh, Roman, who I think is already at his after party in his head. <laughs> I, I think you might be right. Um, oh, he's already, listen, man, if you're hugging the ref like that, you're feeling pretty good about how you did here tonight. No, but if you leave it in the judge's hands, so you never should be that confident in how it's going to go. I mean, you're even, not if wrong. You, even if you very clearly won all of the rounds, it sometimes doesn't go that way. Well, also, just the space of amount of time that we've had uh, right now would uh, make me stop my dance, but I don't think it's gonna stop the shine of Roman right now. I don't think so, so. This I man is all smiles, and I think that uh, he's gonna be walking around here tonight, uh, probably feeling pretty good, but let's get the official result right now back in the cage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have our decision. All three judges cage side scored about 30 to 27 in favor of our winner. By unanimous decision, the red corner, Robin Rodriguez! That's right, five fans. Roman Rodriguez. Brother, dominating, dominating, dominating. You even go for a takedown. You're just dominating the whole fight. How do you feel, man? I feel great, man. We're just two rounds. Who do you train with? Ramon MMA. corner, Ramon MJJ. Nice, nice. What's, what's coming up next, brother? You gotta give me a uh, shout out to any of your sponsors out there. I ain't taking it. SVP, because I've been for a position that we've been with it. It's pretty good, so hopefully in the next round I'm back. That's right, fight fans. Once again, make some noise for Roman Rodriguez! Roman's got no time to spare, man. He's got to get back to that after party right now, so <laughs> I, I feel him. Uh, I mean, he was confident, and uh, he was right.